Hey, what is going on, all my broskies? How are you guys doing today? My name is the Bro Man, and today I'm bringing you guys another girlfriend commentary. And these are basically the commentaries that prove that I'm not gay. So uh, I'm gonna be telling you guys a story about a clingy girl that I, um, I can't really call her my girlfriend because we weren't really, but uh, we were definitely really close. And she was another long distance biatch, you know, living far away. And I shouldn't say biatch because it's disrespectful. I should say bitch. I'm just kidding, but anyway, um, she did live far away, and uh, you know that definitely made it a little more complicated. But uh, let's just start off with the story of how we met. So it was on that website again. You guys all know I meet all these e girls on this website, and uh, you know, <laughs> never really works out for me. But uh, who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> but anyway, so I met this girl, and we started talking. And literally from the first minute I started talking to her. I could already like I already realized we had like literally everything in common and the more we talked the more we realized we had stuff in common and you know I was like holy shit you know this is supposed to be a really rare thing to happen if it does happen like that person's pretty much the one isn't that right wrong I was completely wrong she was not the one and there's multiple reasons why I mean the distance definitely played a factor in why I stopped talking to her but it's not, and I, I just sound like a total dick there. I didn't just stop talking to her. I, I, don't worry. I'm not. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not. I'm not that guy. You know. But um, so uh, the reason I stopped talking to her is because one, she was clingy, and by clingy I mean I would say, hold on, I'll, I'm playing Xbox for this game. I'll text you in the post-game lobbies or whatever. And she's like, okay, no problem. And uh, I go play a domination game. I check my phone. I had four messages saying like, one was like. It was like, okay, have fun, then the next one was like, how's it going? Next one, are you having fun? Next one, Brody, why are you ignoring me? You know, it was just non-stop text messaging, and no matter what, it was like, talk to me on Skype, talk to me on text message, do this, do that. Just, she always wanted to be talking to me, and I need bro time, you know? And no matter how gay that sounds, I want to be around men more. It's just, I, I need the time to just chill out, you know, and do what I want to do. And... A lot of girls actually have that problem. I hear a lot of guys who complain about, you know, their girlfriends always texting them. And girls just, they feel like once they have a guy as their boyfriend, that the boyfriend literally just wants to do, like, everything with her and do nothing else. And that's a really big misconception they have. And, uh, you know, I made a mistake too. I thought, you know, we have everything in common. This girl is freaking perfect. But she wasn't. And the thing about, you know, having stuff in common, it's important. Everyone knows, you know... Everyone knows you know, but everyone knows that it's important to have stuff in common with the girl, otherwise you really just won't get along. Like, if the girl's into, uh, like, tentacle porn and you only have one penis, what are you gonna do? You can't pleasure her the way she would watch it on the internet. So it won't work out. And that was a really bad example, but, you know, you just gotta f have stuff in common. And having everything in common, the problem with that, and what I didn't realize before, is that there's nothing to talk about. And that sounds really weird, that sounds backwards, but... If you have everything in common, all your conversations are just going to be about the same thing and it'll get really stale. And if you're just talking about the same thing every time, you realize pretty quickly like, holy crap, this is boring. Especially if she lives far away and you've never even seen her in person and you can't just like break the silence and make out or something, you know? It just, it just can't be done. And, um, you know, that's my lesson to you guys is that, you know, if there's a girl and there's everything in common with her, that you guys have in common, it's just not gonna work. And, you know, if a girl has few differences than you, that's awesome because, you know, you could experience new things, you have new things to talk and learn about, and it just keeps the conversations more interesting rather than just being like, yeah, so I was playing Xbox, oh, yeah, I'm playing Xbox too, fun, yeah, you know, it's, it's just not the same. If you're saying, like, oh, I'm playing Xbox, and she's like, oh, I'm skateboarding with the gorilla, then it's just a really interesting conversation already just because the gorilla even though that never happened, so basically just you gotta find that girl, you know, you have enough in common with, you can get along with, and you know, but still have some differences in there, and uh, that's really what is important. You never really see perfect couples, it's really rare, and that's why. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. Now, if you did, remember to leave a like. I'm still trying my best, you know, be enthusiastic with my voice and stuff. And I think I'm finally nailing it. It's much easier, though, when, you know, you don't have your parents home and stuff. Because then you can say things that you couldn't say before. It's just a whole new experience. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I said before. And I'll see you guys in my next commentary, which will probably be about my music career. And uh, if it is, then I was right. If it's not, then I lied. 
Um, hopefully I can get a rap song done for you guys too. So yeah, see you guys later and uh, have a great day. Peace.